hey what's up guys this is aj in today's lecture we are going to discuss the issue of state funding in elections okay so as our what is our procedure see you are going to listen to my voice you are going to make notes out of the points that i am making and you are going to revise those notes okay it will be like foundation for your uh, for that particular topic like okay so it will have the basic things uh, again i will suggest you to write down those points on loose paper so that we can you know add some more things in future as well as we can modify things okay it will be easy for you as well as make separate four files for uh, four gs papers okay so that's it and in that uh, like this point is related to the gs2 okay so in this gs2 only we expect this kind of question okay so what is the purpose of uh, state funding in election the purpose is simple reducing black money then uh, unaccounted funding should be reduced then uh, making you know competitive political system uh, which will uh, bring the healthy democracy in india okay so this this is our purpose behind the state funding we know the lot of corruption happen in state fund uh, like uh, in the elections the elections are becoming more and more expensive okay so it is very difficult uh, to track this money so they use you know black money to what fight in the elections so uh, this is the loss of the state okay so for that uh, it is the idea of uh, state funding in election game okay again one more thing i would like to mention is uh, simple logic is uh, that like like you know na that many good aspirants uh, who wants to get uh, elected in that particular uh, in assembly they don't or they cannot uh, win the election because they don't have enough money so to you know to motivate those candidates as well as to uh, able, uh, you know uh, allowing them or making them uh, eligible to fight a election okay so giving them some power so how to do, give them power give them money to fight for election okay so this is the idea of behind state funding in elections okay then what is the current situation see currently we have indirect funding okay so what happens in indirect funding that uh, uh, they uh, political parties get uh, free air time on the national television okay then uh, they get uh, free supply of uh, electoral rolls okay the list of the can uh, the voters in that particular uh, constituency is given uh, to the particular uh, you know party a uh, free of cost okay next is uh, there is a tax tax deduction in donations okay so so this uh, provision is under section 13a of the it act okay so they give some tax reduction on donations okay so state funding again uh, what are the types of state funding see as i told you that uh, this free air time and free supply of rolls is uh, uh, comes under the indirect uh, state funding so what comes under the direct funding uh, that uh, see in the direct uh, state funding what will happen that uh, Uh, there will be some lump sum amount uh, which will be transferred in the accounts of that political parties okay the money will be transferred uh, in those uh, accounts of the political parties okay so this is called as a direct state funding and what is indirect state funding that uh, allowing you know giving them some free air time uh, giving them some uh, this uh, free stuff okay uh, giving providing the political parties office uh, space is also comes under the indirect state funding for election okay so this is things again uh, see there are some uh, commissions and reports okay you should remember uh, what they are saying in those reports okay so first in 1998 there was a indrajit gupta committee uh, who said that uh, only registered national and state parties should get this political uh, let uh, state funding okay so next is uh, in 1999 uh, there is a there was a law commission under ap shah uh, which uh, stated that uh, you know there should be a proper accounting procedure should be there then uh, there should be you know internal only in the internal elections only we are going to give them this kind of funding that is the recommendations by the law commission ap shah law commission see the law commission's uh, 255th report is very important you should know this uh, report okay uh, in our future lecture we are going to cover that don't worry but still if you get time then you should right now Uh, go and see what is that law commission's uh, 255th report okay then uh, ncrwc what it said in 2002 is that 
there should be a regulatory framework okay so this was the comment given by the uh, okay so national commission for on uh, review of the working of uh, constitution okay that is the uh, statement given by the uh, ncrwc that uh, there should be a regulatory framework uh, when they gave this statement in 2002 okay so we are discussing this reports in chronological order so i am mentioning that uh, like Uh, last report was again second ARC report also says the same. Okay, so see whatever comes in the second ARC report, we are going to discuss that deliberately in our future lectures. So if you haven't uh, read any second ARC report, then uh, it's okay uh, because we are going to cover that in our lecture series. Okay, so remember this chronology: nineteen ninety eight, nineteen ninety nine, two thousand two. Okay, nineteen ninety eight. Me kya hua? Indrajit Gupta. 1999 में क्या हुआ लॉ कमीशन टू फिफ्टी फिफ्थ रिपोर्ट एंड टू थाउजेंड टू एन सी आर डब्ल्यू सी ओके सो दीज आर द पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज वॉट इज द पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट ऑफ स्टेट पब्लिक फंडिंग ओके फॉर द इलेक्शन सी दीज दिस ऑब्वियसली वॉट हैपन इज इज हैपनिंग दिस इट इज इज फाइटिंग इलेक्शन इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर एक्सपेंसिव ओके सो to reduce this uh, expenses as well as uh, to you know uh, to make uh, empowering the individual independent candidates as well as uh, some candidates who are you know short of money so if we give them money then they will be able to fight for election and we will get uh, good quality uh, members in parliament as well as in uh, state assemblies okay that is our idea so that the india will uh, make you know good laws and uh, there will be you know proper democracy in st- inside india so that was the idea behind basic idea so these things will are have uh, uh, are possible because of the state funding next point is again uh, reducing the corruption in the current scenario there is a use of tremendous use of black money so we need to reduce it or curb it okay next is uh, to bring transparency obviously this state funding is going to be in a uh transport to the political parties in a legal way okay so these uh, transactions done by the political party w- parties will be accountable so it will make uh, it will bring some transparency in the election okay next is uh, um, see private funds uh, is what happens you must have known the know this uh, uh, story that uh, there was andani adani industries as well as tata industries as well as Uh, many big uh, reliance uh, industries uh, like uh, this kind of big companies uh, funded both the uh, political parties that is congress and as well as uh, bjp in the 2014 election okay so this uh, you know this uh, kind of uh, kind of relationship between the corporates and the government is called as a crony capitalism okay so this uh, if we you know why these political parties need these big industries because uh election fighting election is very expensive okay they, they can't uh, these political parties on themselves can cannot bear this cost okay so they need uh, some al- alliance as well as they need some uh, sponsors okay so these uh, big corporates become sponsor of these uh, political parties okay so the this leads to the crony capitalism so what happens uh, just because these uh, companies are uh, giving providing funds to the political parties uh, political parties uh, are act in a favor of the Uh, those uh, big companies or big corporates okay so this is uh, called as a crony capitalism okay so this is uh, this brings economic inequality in the society okay so ultimately to reduce this we need to you know uh, explore the possibility of uh, state public funding next point is uh, functioning of a multi party system uh, what is happening so like again this is the same point uh, you, uh, you know said in a different way that uh, there are independent candidates they cannot uh, fight the elections uh, these uh, political parties are becoming like uh, humongous like congress is there bjp is there they are very strong political parties economically they are very stable so their candidates fight the election uh, you know uh, very aggressively okay they because they use a uh, uh, very star campaigner as well as they have a lot money to spend on the elections uh, expenditure so they you know reach to the more audience as well as they win the election so to and in this process you know the genuine candidates cannot uh, win because of the lack of the f- fund so to avoid this or to reduce this we need to use the pol- uh, political or uh, the state pol- public funding for the elections 
सो वॉट आर द क्रिटिसिजम्स सी क्रिटिसिजम्स आर सिंपल वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ बजेट डिफिसिट ओके सो इकोनॉमिकली वी आर नॉट दैट मच कैपेबल राइट नाउ आवर इकोनॉमी इंडियन इकोनॉमी इज नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ डूइंग सच कर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स वाई बिकॉज देर इज अ बजेट डिफिसिट ओके वी आर ऑलरेडी बोरोइंग सो मेनी मच सो मच मनी सो मच मनी फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड बैंक ऑज वेल एज अदर इंस्टीट्यूशंस ओके सो वी आर ऑलरेडी इन डेप्ट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टेट पब्लिक फंडिंग फॉर इलेक्शन विल इंक्रीज दिस काइंड ऑफ डेप्ट एंड एज पर अवर एफ आर बी एम एक्ट ओके फिजिकल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बजेटरी मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एक्ट वी वॉन्ट टू यू नो रिड्यूस अवर दिस फिजिकल डेपिसिट टू थ्री पर्सेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी सो इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट इफ वी यू नो स्पेंड मोर मनी ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ पब्लिक फंडिंग फॉर इलेक्शंस सो दिस इज द क्रिटिसिजम नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज दिस यू नो द करप्शन इज गोइंग टू हैपन कैन बी हैपन इन दिस प्रोसेस ओके सो फ्रॉड पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज कैन बी क्रिएटेड जस्ट बिकॉज यू नो लाइक गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग फंडिंग फॉर इलेक्शन सो वॉट विल हैपन देर विल बी सो मेनी शेल पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज विल बी देर ओके सो दे विल गेट जस्ट बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग मनी ओके सो दे विल बी देर विल बी मेनी पार्टीज विल जनरेट एंड दिस पार्टीज विल यूज दिस मनी फॉर इलिगल पर्पजेस ओके सो दिस इज द फियर दैट वी हैव इन आवर माइंड सो दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ क्रिटिसिजम ओके सो देर विल बी फ्रॉड पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज which will uh, benefit uh, or which will get benefit of the state funding next point is uh, again scarce uh, resources are very less in india okay so uh, instead of spending you know this kind of huge money on this election process uh, if you use that poly- money for uh, development purposes uh, it will be beneficial for india okay this kind of uh, thought pro- uh, thought uh, is there okay so instead of uh, like uh, you must have heard that uh, uh, if we any time we launch any satellite in the orbit okay what happens people say like uh, why you are spending like 1200 crores to launch your one single satellite in the orbit in the that uh, amount of uh, money uh, we can build like 100 km of uh, roads okay so this kind of thought processes are always there so they this kind of criticism is also is present in the state public funding that uh, instead of using this humongous amount of money for uh, fighting the election uh, we will be if we use that fund you know to uh, give the basic amenities to the citizen it will be good okay next is uh, what is the solution so we, this is the final part of our topic see state funding uh, should be given to the national and state only to the national and state political parties that is the first solution we are proposing next is uh, s- s- the see uh, unless and until we reduce our budgetary deficit uh, we are not going to start political funding how to uh, reduce the budgetary deficit there are a number of ways okay so we will discuss this in a economic uh, lecture series but uh, like uh, f- uh, to mention few is like uh, you know uh, increase our uh, economic uh, ex- uh, income as well as Uh, reduce the deficit uh, how to reduce deficit like uh, rationalizing the subsidies this is one method to reduce the subsidies okay so the if we spend less then there will be uh, budgetary deficit as well as you know uh, there are some schemes are uh, run, uh, run run by the government uh, which are uh, not benefiting the common citizen okay so if we cut those uh, schemes okay so we will save some money and after saving such huge amount of money we will use that money for the state political like state election funding so this uh, this is one uh, solution that we propose again third uh, so solution is uh, create one separate election fund okay so uh, there will be uh, separate election fund in that fund we are going to deposit some money anybody like uh, people to benefit people uh, donate the money to the political parties instead of donating that money to the political parties if we create one post it uh, like a election separate election fund in that uh, fund if we uh, collect that money or uh, if you donate that money then we can distribute uh, that money to the pol- respected political political parties that is the one kind of solution like uh, we should create one separate election fund okay so again next is uh, only political parties uh filling the uh, it returns uh, should get the political funding okay state political funding that is the fourth solution we provide 
and last is a uh, uh, one solution a solution given by the SY Qureshi okay in a newspaper that there should be a Bharat electoral fund okay so in again this Bharat electoral fund is the same as the uh, separate election fund okay so they, they just uh, gives one fancy name to it that Bharat electoral fund there should be this kind of thing should be there can be there and in that thing we are going to deposit some money and this uh, money will be distributed to the political parties by the state so this can be done okay so this is our point these are the points that comes under the state election uh, funding state funding in the elections okay so thanks guys for watching this video and we will meet in the next video peace